best way to do that is we have the, this movie called Road to Lemon Grove coming out, and we thought the best way we can offer something is let's 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 release the movie, uh, let's let allow people to buy the movie, and a percentage of that will go to uh, Red Cross. And uh, so we're, we're we're excited about that. We've been working with Red Cross. Uh, we've been working with many Italian communities and associations. Uh, that have been supporting us, and we're, we're, we're very thankful for everybody coming on board for this event. Thank you, Dale. So please, if you don't already, have an espresso, grab an espresso, grab a glass of wine, grab a glass of water. Hello, friends. I see so many good faces coming in, everybody. Many I don't know, many I do. Claudio Vena, is that Tristan? Oh, no, Franklin, oh my God. So grown up, my cousin Diana. So happy to see you here. Um, so please, if you haven't, if you know, let me say a little bit about how to use Zoom, if it's new to anybody here. Um, on the top right corner, if you want to toggle your cursor over there now, if you can, come along with me. And on the top right corner, um, there's an option to click speaker view or gallery view. If you click speaker view, you'll only see me, which is super boring. But if you click spe um, gallery view, you get to see everybody, which is awesome. This is how we're, our intention is to create a sense of community, a sense of connection, to really be together for an hour. Um, so if you can click on the top right corner to gallery view, you'll get to see all your friends and some new friends. And if you toggle down a little further in the middle of the screen, again on the right, you can push to see the various screens. So right now we're five screens wide. We have 118 people with us. So you can scroll through to see other people's faces, um, to see their names, to see what's going on so that we are in this together. Um, also on the bottom of the screen, if you put your cursor down there, there's a chat option. And I can see some chats coming in, which is awesome. Um, and so please say something in the chat. Just let's try it together now. Say your name and where you're from. So maybe uh, just hello, your name, where you're Zooming from today, and if you're celebrating Father's Day, who you're celebrating with, any messages you want to send. Please don't be shy to participate. Uh, I just wrote in that uh, uh, my alter eagle Chuck Norris is here. I don't know if that helps. Hello from Chuck Norris. Hello, Diana from Burlington. Buona Domenica, Kristen from Washington. Welcome, welcome. Hello. They're going by so fast right now. I can't read them all. Oh Montreal, Varnique. San Diego, Richmond Hill. Oh, Varnique. Hello, Varnique. New Jersey, Kelowna, Winnipeg. Trina from Ottawa. Kentucky. <laughs> Ohio, Brooklyn, Montreal, Edmonton, Maryland, California. I like it. <laughs> Santa Barbara. Karen from Oregano, uh, Oregon. Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> <I love laughs> Peter from Vancouver. Welcome. Kimberly from Brooklyn, New York. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Welcome. 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 So we're just uh, allowing people a bit of time to, uh, to, to get into the Zoom rooms. I'm going to make an espresso right now. If anybody wants one, let me know. Uh, I don't know if I can you know, stream it, but uh, we can share a virtual one anyway, okay? So in our one-hour live Zoom, we're hoping just to create a sense of connection, no matter how far um, we are from each other. Um, and it's a chance to celebrate together for the hour and also celebrate the launch of our film, The Road to the Lemon Grove, which many of you have been asking us about, when will it be on digital platform? So we thought that this was a great opportunity to talk about the launch of the film and finally say, yay, we can get it, so yay. Um, so feel free to uh, buy. And the um, thing that we wanted to really do is um, support the Italian community. And you know, so in donating today, a portion of the proceeds will go to the Red Cross so that it'll help Italians um, who've suffered as a result of the pandemic. So uh, please do log on and uh, please do um, donate. And we're really happy to have everybody here. And as I said, we'll be joined today by um, influential Italians, um, artists, philanthropists, and of course the cast and crew of the film. And most importantly, all of you. So we're just waiting a few minutes as all our friends continue to roll in. 
So let's see, how are we now? We're at 128. So please, um, why don't we enjoy this particular, yeah, let's enjoy this segue. Let's, this uh, amazing song, courtesy Rita Torelli and Claudio Vena, and uh, begin our virtual passeggiata italiana. to say she like a man who be poor. Hey, maybe you got a summer hope. Oh, no, no. She no like a man who be strong. Hey, what's the matter, you? You want to go nowhere? You like her to shovel up the snow? You, I don't know who you be, but you like her to shovel up the snow. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to Canto non ve sono, se non ballate pulito, ce lo dica questo sito. Shu shu shu, quanti femmine che ci su, e ballate, e ballate, femmine schette maritate. Se non ballate buone, non ve canto non ve sono. Se non ballate pulito, ce lo dica questo sito. Shu shu shu, quanta femmine che ci su. Pari peppi, pari peppi, vi piglio la misura delle scarpe. E ballate con parina detta, vu con parina tambure, vu ballate con parina detta, vu facete sopra così. Io se ballo non stacco mai, mi scotto lì, mi guai, ogni sera me li scorto. Palumba la palumba, imparano figli di una sola mamma. E ballate con parina detta, vu con parina tambure, vu ballate con parina detta, vu facete sopra così. Io se ballo non stacco mai, mi scotto lì, mi guai, ogni sera me li scorto. E ballate con parina detta, e con parca tamburetta, e ballate con parina detta, vu facetti sempre così. Io se ballo non stacco mai, mi scordo non mi guai, ogni sera me li scordo. Pari peppi, pari peppi, vi piglio la misura delle scarpe. Baronato, baronato, attenta che rupiti, un mattonato. Mi smello da? She smells like a home, la dolce vita. Welcome to our Reunite the Italian Community Father's Day event, and happy Father's Day to everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Like many cultures and communities around the world, the Italian community has suffered unspeakable hardships during the pandemic. Many loved ones have been lost, too many have been separated, and though it's far from over, we know it's time to find ways to rekindle the Italian spirit. We were honored to film the movie Road to Lemon Grove in Sicily, and in turn, we were inspired by the generosity of the Italian people. And now, we're returning the favor. It's our hope that through small gestures such as this, we can begin to find ways to reunite a sense of community. So why Father's Day? Road to the Lemon Grove is a movie about an elderly Sicilian man trying to negotiate his way into heaven. However, the only way back in is to first go back, fix his relationship with his son, get him to reunite the feuding family. But more important, it's a story about a son dealing with the loss of his father, the loss of language, the loss of culture. As a result, he has to journey back to Italy to find his roots and discover who he is. It's an homage to our fathers, just as today is an homage to our fathers. They may be far away. They may have already passed, bon anima, or they may even be online with us right now. Zoom, what is zoom? Oh, I got click, I got click, oh. So for the next hour, we want to reconnect with community. This is a chance for us to be together, to come together in celebration of our fathers and families and community and all things Italian. This virtual event is in honor of our fathers, of course, but also the enduring spirit of communities across the world. We will have some lighthearted fun together. We'll also raise funds for those hard hit by the pandemic, as well as celebrate the uh, launch and the release of our film Road to the Lemon Grove on digital platforms. So many have asked us when the film will be available. And we were inspired to use the digital release as a platform to raise funds for Italian communities affected by the pandemic. So today only, with all pre-sales of the movie of Road to the Lemon Grove, a portion of the sales will go to the Red Cross in support of Italian communities who have suffered loss.
So if you're inspired to help and you're inspired to donate any time during this event, please click on the link that we'll put in the chat, which is on your right, on the bar, or go directly to roadtothelemongrove.com. Buy a copy for your fathers, for your grandparents, no, 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 brothers, sisters, zio, zio. Enjoy the film, and more importantly, support the Red Cross's efforts to help those in need. Thank you so very much. For Ciao, mi chiamo Paola Parenti with the Canadian Red Cross. When Italy was struggling, the Canadian Red Cross launched an appeal to help the Italian Red Cross boost its resources to support its citizens. As the virus continued to spread, the Italian Red Cross and Canadian Red Cross joined virtually to share challenges, best practices, and also hope. At the Canadian Red Cross, we value the relationships we've built with the Italian Red Cross to learn and grow stronger as a movement. Let's continue to respond to COVID-19 to support those who are vulnerable to this virus. Together, we are stronger. Insieme siamo più forti. Thank you. Grazie. I have had the honor of playing several roles in the movie. Most importantly, I played the pivotal roles of Calogero and his father, Antonio. Everybody loves Antonio. But Antonio does not love technology. So for those of you who are still trying to understand Zoom, here's Antonio sharing pointers, Sicilian style. Zoom? E quale Zoom? Che ma fare questo Zoom? Non ho capito un cavo. Zoom meeting. Ma I gotta go to the meeting. You gotta give me the address. Oh, the computer. The computer should be here. What do you want me to do? I gotta click the box. Okay, click the box. What a box? Eh? They got boxes. On. Oh, box on the screen. She says, uh, join the meeting. Eh? Click. Allora, click. Okay, basta. Eh? Eh, now the computer is going to automatically download Zoom. Download. But what is download? I don't want to download nothing. Eh? I could download the virus. Eh? I gotta get the, the COVID-19 virus. No, come on, fire. I'm all the man. No. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta download the Zoom. Allora. Okay, is it download the Zoom? Allora, è finito sa storia? No, is it not finito? It's something else. E quale video? Ah, ancora? Video. Click video. Video. Vi click. Sempre to click. Click. I click the video. Oh. Oh, 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 look all the face I see. Everybody in the box. These are my friends. Okay. Okay, goodbye. Hey, I talk to them. Okay, who's going to bring the food? Hey, well, I got to click for the damn food. Today, we have people joining us from New York to Rome and everything in between, wishing the community well. As we know, a huge percentage of elderly have been victims of COVID-19. We have lost mothers, fathers, nonas and nonos. In fact, one stat in Italy found that of the elderly victims, 80% were elderly men. So this Father's Day, there is an added reason to pay tribute to the profound loss. We also pay tribute to the many organizations who have worked tirelessly to maintain a sense of community and help others around the globe. And one of those organizations is the Sons and Daughters of Italy. Grazie mille to them. My name is Carmen Felice. I'm the National President of the Order of Sons and Daughters of Italy of Canada. I am speaking to you from my home in Hamilton, Ontario. During this unprecedented time, we witnessed the devastating effect of COVID-19 on communities around the world, especially in parts of Northern Italy. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the communities and families who have experienced hardship during this pandemic. Now is a perfect time to reconnect, reunite, and find a sense of community to rekindle the Italian spirit that runs through our veins. On behalf of our members across Canada, I wish to thank all the frontline workers whose hard work and dedication has saved many lives, in many cases at the greatest expense of all, their own life. I would also like to take this opportunity as today's Father's Day in Canada to wish all the nonnos and papas a happy Father's Day. Ciao e tanti saluti da Canada. Now let's go to Rome, where Rosella Brescia, radio host, TV superstar, model, Italy's prima ballerina, and one of the stars of Road to the Lemon Grove, shares a message of hope. 
And just so you can get familiar with Rosella, she's going to demonstrate exactly how an Italian woman handles paparazzi. Go! Io mango sogno paparazzi. Ah, e che cosa sei? Uno stalker? No. Un assassino? No. Uno stupratore? Neanche. E che cosa sei allora? Io manco voglio fare scantare a vostra. Io sogno insegnante di linguistica. Che? Sono Rossella Brescia e volevo farvi un grande saluto. Un saluto con tutto il mio cuore ad un paese che amo moltissimo, che è il Canada. Ho imparato a conoscere... Eh, I canadesi grazie ad un film, è stato il lavoro più bello della mia vita, grazie Dale, grazie Charlie e grazie a tutte le persone che hanno lavorato in questo film. Questo è, questa invece è l'Italia, è un paese bellissimo, lo conoscete, in tanti di voi lo conoscono perché tanti italiani sono, sono arrivati in Canada, hanno cercato fortuna e hanno trovato un paese che li ha abbracciati li ha abbracciati veramente con tutto il cuore. Purtroppo eh, veniamo da un momento molto difficile perché questo maledetto virus, questo maledetto coronavirus eh, ha messo in ginocchio l'Italia. Siamo passati dalla fase 1 alla fase 2, siamo finalmente alla fase 3, la fase della rinascita. Quello che vi posso dire è che in questo periodo molto difficile e il calore degli italiani è stato sempre molto, eh, molto forte. Per esempio mi ricordo una cosa bellissima, una volta a settimana eh, si riunivano tutti sui balconi, anzi ci riunivamo tutti sui balconi e cantavamo l'inno di Mameli. Eh, era il nostro abbraccio virtuale a tutti gli infermieri, a tutti i medici, a tutte le persone che lavoravano negli ospedali. Speriamo che questo periodo è, è alle nostre spalle, mi auguro che questa fase 3 ci riporti alla normalità, riporti soprattutto lo spettacolo alla normalità perché tante, tanti settori purtroppo hanno subito un grave danno. Io spero si possa ritornare al cinema per esempio, e a teatro e tutti gli artisti possano ricominciare a vivere, tanti artisti che in questo momento sono veramente stati in grande difficoltà. Il nostro abbraccio da tutta l'Italia, che vi arrivi tutto il calore possibile e immaginabile. Però la prossima volta che verrò in Canada prometto di parlare in inglese. Adesso sono ancora un po' timida, una cosa la so però. I love you. Vi adoro. It's so good to know Italy is starting to come through this. But the separation, the social distancing and the loss has been a big part and we have to make an effort to rebuild and to find community again. We still have to be careful and we still have to look out for each other. And to attest to that is Love It or List It's star, Eric Eremita, who was hospitalized for three weeks with COVID. Hi, my name is Eric Eremita. I'm a general contractor that you might've seen on several television shows in the United States and abroad. I'm here today to share hope, awareness, and the future of COVID-19. I was affected by COVID-19. I was on a ventilator for two weeks. I was in the hospital almost a month. It not only affected me, but it affected my family, it affected my future, and it affected my plans. But I'm here to let you know that there is a silver lining. I'm living proof, as you can see. I'm six weeks home at this point. Um, I was on several medications. I was on some antibiotics. I'm off them at this time, and I'm really on my road to recovery. You have to pay attention to what's going on in the world. Wear your mask, wear your gloves, be aware of your surroundings, do social distancing. It all matters, okay? And the, the more that we can pay attention to what's going on, the less this is going to spread. I was, I, I lost some friends with this. I know a lot of people who passed, young and old, but, you know, and that, that, puts, a, that puts a damper on things. Please, please, please pay attention to what's going on in the world today. And if you can, donate, because your donations help. And all I could say is thank you. Part of being a community is the idea of sharing stories, laughter, music, and things of cultural importance that help us better understand who we are 
and where we came from. And one of the most important signatures of culture is language, la lingua. If you are from New York, Jersey, Boston, Philadelphia, Toronto, San Francisco, Vancouver, Paris, Buenos Aires, Ponte de Leno, Woodbridge, of course, and you are of Italian descent, you can identify with the immigrant experience and how language plays an important role. Many of you, or fathers, mothers, nonnos, nonnas, were translators for your parents. So, if you can identify with that, I am sure you can identify with this next piece. Truth is, it doesn't matter what language you speak. If you come from an immigrant background, you can relate. Here's Tommaso Sanelli playing a role many of us really do identify with. E ce che abbiamo casa Gianni, tutti che ricca. Abbiamo casa, oh, in Spagna, Germania, Italia. What did he say? He said no. All of those words for no. We are Sicilian. We use a lot of words to say no. Ciao everybody, it's Tommaso here. Since we can't all celebrate in person this year, uh, it's great to be able to connect to our families throughout the world in this wonderful way. The Lemon Grove movie has always held a special place in my heart because it reflects the story of my grandparents who sacrificed so much when they were immigrating to Canada from Italy. And yet, they still maintain that special bond with the motherland. And through the food and through the culture, I always feel that special bond. This year, uh, I thought a lot about my Italian family, cousins who have been through so much. We are praying that the worst is over for them now. And to the Lemon Grove family and community all over the world, Let's celebrate our fathers today for their hard work, sacrifices, and love of family. Thank you to Dale and the Lemon Grove community for telling this story about a father and a son that resonates with so many of us. Happy Father's Day. Buona festa del papà. Un abbraccio a tutti voi. Humor is such an important and resilient quality for the Italian community. And for everybody, per tutti. Let's remember to laugh, love, dance, abballare, and have fun again. The pandemic was a phase. Now we have to reconnect and heal. We have to remember to help each other, especially the most affected and the most forgotten. We need our strength to give back. And here's a person who knows how to give back. There is a reason this guy was put forth as the man of the year by the sons and daughters of Italy. My friend, my paisano, Sam Chino. This uh, global pandemic has called the community together in ways that it's never seen before. Um, for those most in need in our community, the most vulnerable and marginalized folks, those that are suffering from uh, addictions or mental health issues or combination of, of both, that uh, have always been in isolation and in need of support of others, are feeling it perhaps even more than others and more than ever. Certainly, uh, people do feel more alone than they ever have been, simply because, you know, of social distancing, uh, the fact that they can't have people in their homes, the longing for a hug that they haven't had in a long time, uh, wanting to hug others uh, because of the uh, isolation that they felt and that lack of human contact. These are all things that we have taken for granted in the past and coming to realize how important they really, really are uh, for that human connection. Uh, we collectively own this issue, uh, collectively need to solve this issue by doing all, all doing our part. And, uh, you know, when I go out into the community, I'm there to protect you. And then I do expect that others are there to protect me as well. And by doing so, we're protecting each other. So. Yes, um, we have a stronger sense of community because of simply the, the things that we've always taken for granted in the past. And now we've come to realize that even the littlest things were the most, could be the most important things. Buongiorno, sono Claudio Tafui, ambasciatore d'Italia in Canada. Volevo ringraziare e salutare David Debrand per Walk to Lemon Grow, un film che parla del rapporto tra un figlio e un padre che non c'è più e le sue radici e lo fa in modo delicato, divertente, interpretato peraltro con grandissima ironia da Charlie Chiarelli e Rossella Brescia. 
È un film da vedere che vi consiglio. Ringrazio Dale anche perché parte dei proventi della produzione streaming di questo film saranno destinati al fundraising lanciato dall'Ambasciata d'Italia Aiutiamo l'Italia per combattere l'emergenza Covid nel nostro paese. Grazie, grazie di tutto questo e buona visione. The father-son relationship can all too often be based on misunderstandings and missed opportunities. Bert Young from the movie Rocky played Zio Vincenzo in The Road to Lemon Grove and Nick Mancuso played his son, who he sends to Sicily to stop Cologido. Through them, we meet all their crazy Zios and Zias and all the reasons their family has been feuding for generations. Nick has been in over 200 movies, and I think this is the first time he's played a comedic role. But he was brilliant. Thank you, Nick. What do you want? What do you want? What do I want? No. I'm just tired of being everybody's minion all the time. How are you, mafioso? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a mafioso. So, can I ask you what the plan is here? Plan? With me. What do you plan to do to me? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna keep you here for a while. How long is a while? Hi folks, it's Nick Mancuso. And as you can see, I'm in beautiful Paris, France. There's the Eiffel Tower. I want to say hi to all my Italian friends all over the world. Anche io sono italiano, e sono fiero di essere italiano. You know, folks, we've gone through a hard time, but we're now, we're coming out of it. And this film is all about that. It's all about having a good time in life, about family and friends and about great food. So come and see it. Road to the Lemon Grove, and happy Father's Day to everybody. Ciao. Ciao da Francesco Di Lorenzo da Siracusa, un saluto e un augurio di buona festa del papà a tutta la comunità italiana. Ciao! Barbara Mead from Hamilton, happy Father's Day! We are, I am Vittoria Luisa from Resort Sant'Agostino, where the fantastic Canadian crew ha girato the Lemon Grove. I give them a big kiss and good luck for this beautiful film. Bye! Ciao a tutti. My name is Valentina Ferrante. I wanted to wish all of my family, all of my friends in Italia a very beautiful and joyful and happy Father's Day. A baci. Da parte dell'Associazione Italiana di Arizona, un saluto a tutti, un abbraccio forte. A happy Father's Day from everyone here in Arizona. Ciao a tutti. Hello, my name is Alfonso Spoto. I play in a musical group called The Acoustics from Hamilton, Ontario. Our music is being played at the final credits in the movie Road to the Lemon Grove. It's time that we heal and find joy again in life. So, happy Father's Day to everyone. Stay safe. Ciao. Road to Lemon Grove. Ciao. I'm Johnny Asquith, D.O.P. Up here at the cottage, loving every minute of it. I hope everybody's okay. Cheers. This is Christine. Love you guys. I'm here with Batman, yes. right? We're saying hello from Times Square in New York City. Buona festa del papà in Italia. And thankfully, the streets are calm. I have survived the coronavirus. And also the anarchy in New York City. Have a beautiful Father's Day. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Ciao. Ciao. Hi, my name is Taylor Tablinetti, and I'm the founder of the National Organization of Italian Americans in Film and Television. Here at my dad today celebrating Father's Day. We want to wish you all a very happy and healthy day, and we hope that you're staying safe. And I want to wish all the fathers the world over a most blessed day. And to my friends, my family, and Italy, stay strong. FYI, we did that take about 37 times. And my dad is 67 years old. So I'm starting to think whether or not he's going to make it to the end of Father's Day. 
If you've ever been to Sicily, chances are you've had to line up for the lemon dessert, Granita. And of course, it wouldn't be an Italian celebration without food and love. So next, we have Julia, who has a recipe for both. Hi, I'm Julia Rizzone, and today I'll show you how to make a delicious lemon granita. This recipe is a tribute to the movie that changed my life, Road to the Lemon Grove. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later on. But for now, let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need three simple ingredients, lemons, sugar, and water. Melt the water and the sugar together on the stove and after about a minute the sugar will be melted so take it off the heat and let it cool down with a bit of lemon zest without the white part. Once it cools, filter it out and pour the mixture into a container and add some freshly squeezed lemon juice which I also put through this little strainer. Give it a good stir and put it in the freezer. After about 45 minutes, depending on the temperature of your freezer, whisk it up. Repeat the same process another time and after that I whisk the granita for a bit again. And if you want an extra creamy granita, mix it in a blender. Serve it and enjoy. Eating lemon sweets really reminds me of the heartwarming experience I had on the set of the movie Road to the Lemon Grove. When the Canadian crew arrived to Syracuse, Sicily, my hometown, I was offered a job of translator and third assistant director. While I was experiencing the most intense and fun working experience of my life, I also found true love. And little did I know that as soon as I finished my last months of high school, I would be following my soulmate in Canada. And now Steve and I have been living together for the past five years. This movie has brought us together and my life was changed forever. Thank you, Dale, thank you, Charlie, and to all the wonderful people involved in the making of this beautiful film. I'm so excited for everyone to see it. For more cooking videos every Thursday, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Un bacio. <laughs> there is young love and there is, let's say, older love. So I'm going to invite Antonio back. He's going to tell a love story of a different kind, okay? Lo gioventù così ne va non torna più, maledetto la vecchiaia, ma meno male che c'è Viagra, maledetto la vecchiaia, ma meno male che c'è Viagra, aia, aia, brutto la vecchiaia, aia, aia, brutto la vecchiaia. Remember when I was young, making love was so much fun. My libido was hot and plenty, now I am riding almost on empty. My libido was hot and plenty, now I am riding almost on empty. Aya, aya, old age can make you cry. Aya, aya, ay old age can make you cry. Although the pandemic has forced us to keep a distance, it doesn't diminish what we feel for one another. Thank you, Claudio Vena, who scored our movie. And thank you, Franklin and Tristan, for showing us how we can still show love. Here is a socially distant serenade as they catch Claudio's mother coming back from the chicken coop with a serenade that was her husband's very favorite. Vieni, ma camina. Abbiamo preparato una canzone bella. Bella 
aria fresca fare già la festa che bella cosa una giornata e sole Costantini Powell here, the President of the National Congress of Italian Canadians Ottawa Chapter. My name is Roberto Corvecchio. I am President of the National Congress of Italian Canadians of Canada. Buongiorno. My name is Sue Forsi. Hello, it's Luisa Macchia from the Order of the Sons and Daughters of Italy. We represent 1.6 million Italian Canadians from coast to coast. Wishing all the papas a happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Ciao. Happy Father's Day, Bon Fede Predators. Thank you for the touching messages, everyone. It was so, um, I don't know, poignant for me to hear all those messages of love, and I hope they were for all of you from all over the world, messages of hope and messages of inspiration and of care. So um, we have more messages to come and more to celebrate. And, uh, but for now, we thought it would be a great opportunity for us to get up and move a little bit so that if we're stuck in front of Zoom for too long, we, we can uh, let loose a little bit. So if you haven't already figured out how to go to gallery view, please do. Again, that's on the top right corner. If you click from speaker view to gallery view, you'll get to see the whole community so you're not stuck on me and you'll get to see all our friends uh, who are joining us together today. And of course, dance is a huge part of any celebration, in particular in um, an Italian celebration, certainly in my experience growing up. So it wouldn't be a celebration without a bit of dance. And it also brings a lot of healing into our lives. So I, I'm going to be inviting us all into a giant Zoom dance. So please don't be shy. And uh, you know, I'll never miss a chance to dance. Life is too short. And I'm going to pass you to Charlie, who will get us into the spirit. Enjoy. Hey, it's going to be, it's going to be Zoom room dancing, or if you like, uh, ball Zoom dancing. Everybody, move what you can move. Some of people are going to move the shoulders, some of the feet, but here comes the tarantella, and everybody move to the tarantella. My Barbie, she's going to dance. Okay. Ready? You ready? Okay. Everybody, I want to see these squares with the people who move, no people who sit like that. Don't tell it that. Musica, per favore. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, Charlie, for your ball zoom dancing. Thank you, everybody, for joining in on that one. Steve, let's uh, go to our next section. Thank you. Looks like we got a little technical difficulty here. Are we good to go? Here we go. Charlie, why don't you play us into it? So many immigrants who came to North America worked hard to provide for their family. They made many sacrifices and many never made it back to Italy in their lifetime. Today, many will not be able to go back to Italy for a long time either. Some may never have a chance to go back. The character Antonio, Cologero's father in the story, never made it back either. Oh, no. Antonio Contatini. Mi chiamo Calogero. Tu sei Antonio. No, mi chiamo Calogero. Antonio mio. No, io sono un figlio di tuo frate, Antonio Contatini. Mi chiamo Calogero. Tu sei Antonio. No, io sono Calogero. Sì, Antonio mio. Antonio. Sì, allora Antonio sogno. Sì, Antonio sogno. Sì, io pensavo che tu venivi. Ma tu mi hai mancato assai. Ma caro tu mi hai mancato assai. Ma senti, tanti anni fa io ti ho mandato soldi per venire in America e tu manco venisti. Perché? Perché America è qua. Come? America è qua. Io hai fatto una pensata. Questi soldi che tu mi hai mandato, li avevo deciso. O ero in America o a cattare uno scecco. E io hai preferito a cattare uno scecco e chiamare l'America. Tagliare quando America c'è qua. <susurra> The great thing about the Italian community is that there's a lot of heart and a whole lot of soul. There's a connection to the homeland. There's a connection to family. And for many, there's a strong connection to something even higher. The movie starts with Antonio trying to negotiate his way into heaven. And of course, why not have the voice of God played by none other than the multi-platinum recording artist, Lorena McKennett. Ma, scusa. Yes. If I gotta wait, maybe you get it for me espresso. Espresso? See, si, is it not like I ask for a cappuccino? You want to get through the pearly gates and you're asking for an espresso. I suggest you try to get through to your son, because you both have to learn to respect each other. I gotta respect. He no gotta respect. Hello? Hello? Oh, dear. Buena festa de papa to all my Italian friends around the world and here in Canada. I'm thinking of you all on this Father's Day and hoping you're all doing very, very well in these very curious times. I miss my time in Italy this summer. Um, hopefully we'll be getting back pretty soon. Until then, everyone stay well and grazie and arrivederci. Benvenuti alla Casa Italia, nella piccola Italia. Sono Giovanna Giordano, Presidente del Comites e Coordinatrice. Oggi, malgrado l'epidemia, posso dire che l'attività si attiva sempre e sempre di più per mantenere la compagnia. Invito Chiarelli a portarci questo film in modo che un giorno possiamo farlo vedere a tutti. Buongiorno a tutti, hey everyone. Uh, this is Dominic Mancuso coming at you from my home. The film resonated for me when I thought about my parents and my culture and where I come from. I think in the modern day, what we're all going through right now in isolation, it's given us a lot of time as a family to reflect on uh, who we are and where we come from. 
and I think this film is a perfect escape to venture back to the homeland. It's, the cinematography is extraordinary. Great job, Dale. Just really, really beautiful cinematography. Um, wonderful cast of actors and actresses and artists that brought so much talent to the making of this film. Um, and uh, I just wish you a wonderful Father's Day today and uh, enjoy the film. Wishing you all the best for um, for now and the next future. Uh, be sure that um, we will rise again together, and uh, I'm doing it to my heart, my music. Uh, so, life is beautiful. Um, from Rome with love. Ciao. Ciao, mi chiamo Ripley Lucas Taliani e sono italo-americana di New York. I want to thank all of the people on the front lines in Italy and for a quick recovery of Il Bel Paese. Viva l'Italia! So I want to thank you, we want to thank you, for celebrating with us. Thank you for celebrating with us. Thank you for celebrating with us. And let's take in a little more Italy as we continue our Passeggiata Italiana. Hey, no worry so much. You open up your heart, Sicily, she give you her soul. Ah, Lesson 35. Some believe language originated from our need to express emotion. Others maintain it arose from logical thought in order to make sense of our world. While many today argue that the study of language is really the study of philosophy and humanity's quest for wisdom and meaning. Alone, words are like a montage of imagery, fragmented pieces of our reality. But language is the culmination of experience interpretation, and long-forgotten voices that influence our journey as we seek out a path in search of our own voice. It wasn't easy letting go of this, was it? But you didn't even come back to see your own brother. What was it? You thought you were a failure? America was built on the backs of Italians. Immigrants from all over. Including you, Pa. But when your back couldn't take it anymore, and you couldn't work, that wasn't failure. That was just one more sacrifice. But sometimes we had to swallow our pride. I guess you can say this film is an homage to culture, to language, to family, and to our fathers. I lost my own father the day we went into pre-production of this film. And six other crew members lost their fathers during the making of this movie. So I wish to say, to my father, to their fathers, and to your fathers. Happy Father's Day.
and a sincere thank you to the tireless volunteer team that made this all happen. I want you to know that everyone has worked from the start of the pandemic for free to bring this to you. So please share your thanks by donating. Buy a copy for yourself, your friends, your family, your brothers, your sisters, your parents, your nonas and nonos. And a percentage of each sale during this event goes to the Red Cross in support of Italian communities affected by the pandemic. Thank you so much for joining us. Dear God, show me a sign that he's moved on. I mean, okay, this is a pretty good sign. And Tony, if you go to get through the pearly gates, you get through to your son. He has 14 days. After that, it's ours. I think you had your photo cremated. Cremated? You stuffed him. The last thing you do. Una tra, eh? Yes, I know who's for you, eh? Che cosa sei? Uno stalker? No. Un assassino? No. E che cosa sei allora? Your father's in there. Yeah, most of the time. Ma chi cazzo c'è scritto tu? Just click to workman's constipation, huh? The Terramarese are all crazy. Are you crazy? Can I ask you what the plan is here? Plan? Questi soldi li avevo deciso. O ir in America, o a cattare in uscita. Thank you. So it's uh, time, our time together has come to an end, but we can continue our conversation on Facebook. And I've been watching the chats as our team has been watching the chats and receiving these beautiful messages of encouragement and shared stories of um, experience with fathers and Italy and community. So thank you all for being here and sharing those messages. And I want to invite you all, actually, if you have a minute here and you want to share a chat about what your father means to you or what it means to be a father to you, a couple of sentences in the chat to give us, get us a sense of kind of shared community as we're closing today. And um, while that's coming in, if that starts to happen, we'll see if anybody wants to do that. But please um, don't be shy. Um, click the chat button at the bottom of the screen and offer a happy Father's Day message to anybody. Happy Father's Day from Kingston. Thank you, Anna Torelli. Too bad they didn't show the movie. We need to buy the movie to see the movie. Thank you, Gina. So glad you're here. Yeah, th thank you everybody for joining in. <coughs> we, uh, we did gather that a few people thought we were seeing the whole movie, but we wanted to make today about the, yeah. our fathers and our dads and we thank you for joining in with us and and we really wanted to try to find an outlet to try to raise funds for the uh, Italian community both here and abroad and we know that uh, New York has suffered an awful lot there's a lot going across going on uh, across the states across Canada we thank you for your time and we we hope we can be supportive and w we hope you can support as well and if Charlie, if you wanted to unmute and share a kind of closing message, would be lovely to hear from you as well. Well, I think the fact that Dale uh, gave me an opportunity to play uh, m myself or that uh, professor character and play my father, it made it uh, very profound for me because I understood that uh, our fathers live inside us. They reside inside us. So they're with us forever. My father died quite some time ago. But... He's not absent whatsoever. So to all the fathers alive and the other ones that uh, live inside you, for better or worse, uh, happy Father's Day. So thank you to everyone for joining us over this hour. We're wishing you um, a beautiful remainder of your Father's Day. And uh, we feel so honored and privileged that you did spend this time with us just to reminisce a little bit about uh, the experience of this movie and go on the journey and raise some funds and awareness for all of that's been happening, all that's been happening. 
So I'm going to invite everybody to a collective goodbye. Maybe we could all unmute if our um, host can give us the magical power. And you'll see on your screen a little button that invites you to unmute. So um, it'll be a nice cacophony of noise. So just uh, say Happy Father's Day or Ciao or Goodbye. Bless you all. Have been a Good job, John Dale. Good job, John Dale. Hello, Taylor. Hello, Anne. I see you.